What's going on you guys? My name is Zach Hartley and in this video I'm going to walk you through one of the strategies that you can use to fund your Binance account while paying very low fees. We are going to use the Newton platform to buy XRP and transfer it over to our Binance wallet and in this video I'm going to give you the step-by-step -step guide, everything you need to know. Let's go. Okay, so really simple. I'm on the uh, Google page right here and I'm just going to type in Newton, N E W T O N. The website is N E W T O N dot C O. And I already have an account. It did take me a couple of days to kind of get approved. So keep that in mind is uh, you may need to go through a little bit of a process to create your account. And then you do have a two step um, kind of verification as well. So for me, 622. 1188. So I'm going to walk you through basically my account. I actually just set it up. I haven't done too many transactions in here. So it's going to be a perfect example because as you can see, there is zero money in the account. So the first thing we need to do is add some funds. And the way that I am going to do that is with an e transfer. For me, that is definitely the cheapest way to do it. And let's just do it for $50 to get started. And uh, let's go from there. So send fund request. And okay, so the request has been sent. A funding request has been sent to Zed Hartley at hotmail.ca. That is my email. Please don't spam me. And let's go open it up and see if it's there. So Newton e transfer request. Okay, so this is easy. I just kind of log in. And then really easily, it already has the form pulled up for me. Withdraw from the account and then message to contact is totally optional. And then click on continue and confirm it. And so that is literally all you have to do is just kind of confirm the e transfer email that they send you. So I just got a notification on my phone that the money has been sent. So we should see it in the account here in the next, well, five to 30 minutes. So I'm probably going to put a little time lapse on and we will just sort of see what happens. Oh, it just happened. It literally just happened. I just saw the screen change. I didn't even have to refresh it. That was actually pretty cool. So now, as you can see, I have $50 in my account. I feel like I just got an update here as well. Yep, I just got an update posted right now, an email from Newton. You obviously couldn't see that, I don't know. I got an update from Newton, just came in, and uh, the screen changed. So now we have $50 in our Newton account. All we are gonna do is we are going to trade $50 in Canadian and we are going to buy XRP or Ripple. That's what it's called right here. We're gonna to go to review trade and then buy XRP. This should take just a couple of seconds. And now as you can see, that cost me one cent to put money from my bank account into Newton and then convert it to XRP. It cost me one cent, which is absolutely phenomenal. So now what we are going to do is we are going to exit out of this. And as you can see, I have $0 in Canadian funds, but I have, well, now more than $50 in XRP. So that was actually just probably the price change there. But now what we want to do is now that our funds are in crypto, but they're on Newton, we want to transition them to Binance. And all we are going to do is go to withdraw right here. And then we are going to go to crypto to wallet. And so what we're going to do is click on maximum. That's going to pull out all of my XRP. And then down here, you can see it says transfer address and tag. So what I need to do is now go into Binance and get my transfer address or my wallet address for XRP in Binance. So that's what we're going to do now. So first thing I'm going to do is open a new tab. I'm going to go to Binance and we are going to log in. It might have me logged in already. There we go. So we're going to go to overview and then we are going to click on deposit and we are going to click on deposit crypto. And here we are going to change from BTC to XRP. So I'm just going to type it in here. XRP Ripple. As you can see, you have to click on I understand and then it says please enter both the tag and the address data. So this is really important. Make sure that you have both and all you have to do is go copy address right here. I'm going to go back to Newton. I'm going to go transfer address, copy and paste it just like that. Copy and paste the tag right here. You can go tag, boom, just like that. And then all you have to do is kind of go review withdraw and it should basically almost instantly send this to my Binance account, which is really, really nice. And so now it's going through the process, it says success, and now in probably just a minute, it will show up in my Binance account, which is really nice. Okay, you guys, so I just got the notification from Binance on both my phone and my email saying that the funds had been successfully deposited. And when I refresh my screen here, you can see that the Ripple has been deposited into my Binance account. I have the exact same amount of Ripple, 30.4, so the same amount is transferred, but this number here of $41 is actually in US dollars, and I deposited $50 in Canadian. 
So that currency conversion there makes total sense as well. And I have now put the exact same amount of Ripple now into my Binance account. And we've probably paid maybe five, maybe 10 cents worth of fees. So we've done extremely well on it. And this is probably one of the best ways to get your money into Binance. There might be other options that, that cost a little bit less, but this is probably one of the easiest and, uh, and lowest cost ways. So if you want to now convert your XRP or your Ripple into let's say USDT or Tether or BUSD so that it's a uh, stable coin so that you're not worried about it being super volatile. You just go to convert right here and let's go with XRP and let's convert it into BUSD and let's go with max right there, preview the conversion. And now you can see we've got $41 USD, which is really nice. And now you have turned your fiat Canadian money into XRP, transitioned it to Binance, and now you've turned it back into a stable coin. And you can use that stable coin to trade any coin that you want, whether it's Bitcoin, whether it's Dogecoin, whether it's some tiny little altcoin, you can do whatever you want with it. And this is going to be one of the best ways to fund your Binance account. So if you guys need any help with this, definitely leave a comment down below and I will do my best to reply as soon as I possibly can and help you out along the way. There are other options. You can pretty much sign up for any crypto platform that you can put money into. You can then send it to your Binance wallet. So keep that in mind. Lots of different options and different ways to do this. Just try and find the one that's gonna cost you the least amount in fees. Ripple is usually a great option or if you can just buy a stable coin directly, whether it's USDT or BUSD, both of them are good stable coins that sometimes you can buy directly with very low fees and then send that money to Binance. That's another way to do it. So there's lots of different options here. But if you guys get any value out of this video, remember to click that like and subscribe button. I sincerely appreciate it. And if you're interested in learning more about cryptocurrency, I have a completely free course that is available on Skillshare. You can sign up for two weeks completely free using the link in the description to this video. So if you can do the entire course, cancel it before two weeks, you just got the entire course for free. I promise you, It'll be a great free resource and it'll give you everything you need to get started with Binance and figuring out which coins are the best for you. The link is in the description to this video. Remember to like and subscribe. I sincerely appreciate it and we'll see you in the next video. Good luck trading, good luck investing, and we'll talk to you soon.